Welcome to this video of the anterior segment and the posterior segment in which we are going to show you a patient with pseudophagic and you can see there is thickening of the anterior capsule and there is slight bit of anterior capsular phimosis. When you see that area of capsular opening and you see that area of ring shape, area of thickening around that, a that capsular central ring that tells you that there is some bit of phimosis but still the area of uh, the central pupil is clear from his visual axis. This is a patient who had had a pars vitrectomy and then uh, a, a oil placed which was later removed and seen in patients in which who have silicon oil eyes dieball for a few months that they develop anterior capsular phimosis and posterior capsular thickening as well. So here you can see this is a mid dilated pupil and you can see uh, the, the IUL is in the bag with mild degree of anterior phimosis and you can see the shining of the lens from the anterior and posterior surface and then you can see on a reflex retroillumination the lens in red reflex showing you the, the red reflex will tell you that the retina is most probably flat in this patient seeing with a superficial lens looking at the disc We'll identify the disc on the first go and try to locate if the retina is attached or not. The cup to disc ratio seems to be 0.3 in this patient. The, you have that fine. Normally, the reason I'm showing you in this way is in examination, you will have similar sort of findings in which sometimes the view comes in and sometimes it goes. So if you can identify in this patient, you'll be able to identify during the exam as well. This patient had some folds in the surface of the macular area which are not very clearly visible but the other thing which we were discussing was this shiny area or a bubble which you see in this superior area. This is a small residual area of uh, silicon oil which obviously if silicon oil is left in the eye, it, if this is the eye, it will obviously float on the superior surface so the oil floats superiorly. If there is a heavy silicon oil or perfluorocarbon liquid particles, they will float in the inferior part of the vitreous cavity. So this is, you're looking with a 90D lens, so it, everything is upside down. So what you're seeing is the superior part of the retina. So that's why it is looking superiorly. And behind that, these areas, these whitish areas, which you see are prior marks done to the area of where the retinal break was and the retina seems to be pretty much attached in this patient and the more, most important finding which we want to show you in this patient was that residual bubble of silicone oil. How do you get rid of that silicone oil bubble? If it stays after surgery what you need to do is to go in do an air fluid exchange and with that air fluid exchange if we have that eye like this let me show you by drawing if we have that this is the eye and uh, this is the cornea in front, this is the intraocular lens. If we have that oil bubble, if the patient is lying flat, the oil bubble is like this. If you go in and you do an air fluid exchange, what will happen is as the air exchange, the water level goes down, this oil bubble will go down and you just go in with a flute needle and get that air bubble and that oil particle out and then you can just inject fluid back into the cavity. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've learned something from this video.